Israeli innovation ecosystem for digital health. We already touched it a few times here. It's, uh, it's, it's a story which started for me in 2018 when I led the group of people from Olomouc, people who are interested to know the Israeli healthcare system, people who knew little about what's going on there, but thanks to meeting people as uh, Gabi Chodik, who is here with us today, we really were slowly and slowly discovering what uh, was happening in Israel. And uh, you already know that, uh, and it was uh, mentioned a few times, that uh, the data which made uh, significant changes in the industry and uh, in other fields, in services and so on, also made the great changes in the, in the healthcare sector. And uh, Israel, which was the front runner of that uh, changes, uh, and the Maccabi was the, the lead at that. We already heard that uh, in 1987, even before the Velvet Revolution, some first changes started. So, so they really have a system which uh, can, in, in, in few hours, give results for really data-based decision. And uh, we know how difficult it is in, in our environment to get... Uh, uh, solid arguments for decisions of uh, experts and, uh, you know, we, we experienced that during the COVID as well. Yeah, even uh, there are some uh, f f sort of data what the epidemiologists use. It's not the quality what we see in Israel. So, the, the, I would like to concentrate only on the digital health. So, we can, uh, if we want to quickly just glance what's going on in Israel. Uh, and uh, my point is basically, where is the inspiration for the Czech Republic? So I will ask this question, and in a way, because I will ask it at the end, I'm sort of going to that uh, through my whole presentation. So basically, there are like two simple uh, statistics which we can uh, look at to understand how the digital... Uh, health in Israel, it's uh, vibrant. I mean, how active and dynamic it is. So, the, 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 the news which I received from the Ministry of Health this month are based on the data from 2020. So, so basically, you see here that there was uh, 675 digital health companies. If you would like to uh, estimate some sort of relevance in the market, you look the the graph on the left side, where you see the, uh, you know, which went public, which are revenue finance. Uh, but what I want to stress is the, how vibrant the system is. Because when I look at the data before the preparing the presentation, I just realized that the number increased and we have almost uh, uh, 800 companies. So, so basically the growth rate of companies between 2011 and today, it's like almost 400%. I mean, if you ask how many digital health companies uh, we have in the Czech Republic, and we will have a very competent speaker uh, presenting that, I mean, it's, it's uncomparable. Another view how you can uh, sort of value the, the vibrant uh, uh, potential of Israeli digital health, it's if you look, who are the world players active in Israel? And you see the long list of uh, companies which are not family companies, but they are significant players in the area of the healthcare internationally. Johnson Johnson, you see Boston Scientific, Philips, Roche, Teva, uh, GE Healthcare, and just all the names, uh, almost everyone knows. And those companies are active in the Israeli uh, ec innovation ecosystem in digital health, usually through more than one project. So they could be part of some innovation center, they could uh, sponsor some studies, they could have even their own center. So, so, so it's, uh, it's another strong uh, power 
of uh, or another strong statistic demonstrating the power of the innovation ecosystem. Here I go back to the, uh, you know, what I said before that the, uh, the first economic model was uh, taken from the blood circulation. Uh, you know, there is something what should present the complexity of, uh, of the innovation ecosystem, but it's not really saying much. I have to give the comments to that and even this would not explain because it's something what, it's so dynamic that uh, whatever you see or you read uh, today would not be true a month later. So we see that uh, if we go from the top, that there are like four health insurance or health management uh, organizations uh, like we, we already held, Klalit, Maccabi and two others, which really, along with the hospitals, became the important driving force of innovations uh, on one side because of the digitalization, but this is already old story. Everyone is now digitalized, but the innovation go farther. Yeah? We have the innovative companies. We saw the list of them, the innovative companies from abroad, and there are plenty of domestic, mentioning Teva, which was on the list of the multinationals, investors, NGOs, they play very important roles and uh, uh, f organizing networks, roundtables, uh, usually connected to the schools, uh, partially financed by the government, universities and colleges. Uh, very important part. Uh, not only on the side of education, what was already mentioned today, and Aiton Brisman just presented the new trends uh, you know, what they use, but where the Czech schools are lacking, it's basically the know-how transfer. Yeah? If you look at the know-how transfer of the Israeli college uh, universities, it's, it's uh, again in the much bigger scale than what we have today in Czech Republic. State, regulation and funding, incubators, innovation centers and accelerators. The innovations uh, innovation centers are different from what we know in Europe or in US. They invest into the companies and they want them to succeed. They keep the share and they get part of the funding for the government to sort of decrease the risk. Uh, I asked today the ASAF from Mesha Lab if they participated in the incubators program and you remember his answer. So to understand more of the, of the let's say, good parts of the Israeli ecosystem. We would like to do more studies which would compare the, let's say, company success, those who, were, who went through the incubators and those who went the independent way. There are many, uh, there, there would be definitely more, more strategies than one. What, what is the successful, what is the path for the success? What, what is one of the really, uh, main rule of the Israel ecosystem, it's that is different what you, what you hear, because it's changing very rapidly. Uh, it's, uh, I can witness that uh, I was doing very simple descriptive paper, and what I wrote in September was not true in December. Our partner organization, uh, part of the Maccabi Asuto Hospital, uh, since our last Zoom meeting, uh, announced the creation of the own innovation center, uh, with the Amazon being one of the partner and some provider of uh, artificial intelligence being the second one. Crossing borders, uh, the innovation centers are not waiting for the entrepreneurs and the companies to come to them, but they started to go to the uh, hospitals or universities and proactively they were looking for the good ideas and forming the alliances before anyone would even consider to, to think that their projects could have some commercial effect. And the connecting to foreign innovation ecosystem is the current big uh, 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 communication of the Ministry of Health in Israel. The Israeli ecosystem strengths according to the uh, uh, let's say Ministry of Health in Israel is the digital data advanced health system, government support, and startup nation. The Czech Republic can compete 
in the, let's say, uh, advanced health system. It can compete about uh, uh, parts of the IT. Uh, it can add definitely the high quality medical research and education. And uh, part of the mission of our center is find the comparative advantage where we could co collaborate and do jointly successful projects. So the, we are at the beginning to answer the questions and we invite everyone who is interested to, to join us at this uh, uneasy uh, road to, to be our partner and to share with us uh, his or her ideas and we hope that you know, in a few years, we can present you some successful stories and the real cases. So thank you very much for your attention.